primer extension or the single primer method it is another method uh, that is also a simple one for site directed mutagenesis isme hum uh, ek primer ko use karte hain jisme hamari choice ki mutation hoti hai aur ye jo primer hai it may be around uh, 7 to 20 base pair longs aur agar is primer mein ek ya do bases jo hain ye altered hain mutated hain hamari choice ki hain to ye annealing ko prevent nahi karengi at least annealing is there because of relatively short stretch of the primer and after annealing the in vitro dna synthesis uh, it is carried out so that the bases that are uh, mismatched uh, as compared to complementary dna are the target dna it, it is introduced within the uh, complementary dna ke jo primer mein jo mismatch base hai ye hamare target dna mein introduce ho sakti hai all the frequency jo hai ye kam ya zyada ho sakti hai so for the purpose to introduce mismatch bases or mutated bases in the target dna uh, it is imp uh, important that uh, the target dna it uh, may be available in single stranded form so that within single stranded dna the primer it can be annealed that contain one or two mismatched bases uh, is purpose ke liye agar aapko yaad ho uh, m13 vector jo ke single stranded dna hote hain it can be used but in addition to that plasmid dna which is double stranded it can be converted into partial single stranded form uh, it is equally uh, suitable now what is the basic strategy uh, in the primer extension uh, procedure here we can compare first two methods the first one i explained related to caset mutagenesis another approach of site directed mutagenesis it is of primer extension procedure so here we have single stranded recombinant dna or vector and uh, having the sequence of the genes pose c a g now we want to replace a adenine with another base suppose here it is c rather than t during the process of dna synthesis and here it is the cytosine is there in the center that we want to target now after annealing the dna synthesis it will be carried out so the double stranded dna it is produced now this recombinant vector after primer directed dna replication it is used to transform host organism and after transformation some of the uh, progeny cells they will uh, maintain the wild type uh, genotype that is normal sequence it is restored by the repair machinery of the host whereas there may be some frequency of the mutants or progeny cells where now the mismatch based in the center it has been replaced it can be explained with the help of another diagram here an oligonucleotide or primer directed mutagenesis it has also been explained for example here m13 vector recombinant vector is there having a particular sequence of the gene that is mentioned here and here the central one adenine we want to change and that is during the dna replication instead of thymine in the, in the opposite strand we want to introduce another base like cos cytosine or guanine so for this purpose we have chemi chemically synthesized primer or oligonucleotide where the g is present instead of a so after annealing the dna replication is carried out in the presence of dna polymerase and four dntps and t4 dna ligase and atp it is also required for this process so it will direct the synthesis of second strand and annealing it is not prevented because of one just one mismatch is there and it can be used to transform e coli cells and after transformation what may be the possibility in next step one of the possibility is that most of the progeny cell they will restore the wild type phenotype 
because of the host machinery but in some cases in in place of adenine the cytosine is there so it is uh, misprinting here it is actually cytosine so guanine will introduce mismatch that is cytosine and it is later on screened after transformation of the host organisms like the e coli the progeny cells they will divide and two type of heteroduplex uh, may be produced so some of the progeny cells after division they will retain the wild type gene sequence whereas some progeny cell they may contain mutated base or mismatch base it is incorporated although the frequency may be a uh, very low but such type of mutants are there and uh, those mutants then they are detected and for this purpose we must have uh, a probe a short dna sequence you are well familiar that can be used during the process of hybridization for this purpose ke liye jo stringency control hai wo bada zaruri hota hai ke the degree to which the hybridization probe it uh, and yield are hybridized with the target sequence it is also very important so stringency can be controlled by controlling the temperature ya ketine ki jo ratio hai during hybridization process usko bhi control kiya ja sakta hai taaki sirf positive signal aaye positive signal means that if our mutated gene or base has been incorporated it must be uh, detected so it can be detected by the process of DNA hybridization by using sequence specific probe